Hello and welcome to The All Flyers. The Australian firm SIPAC, an engineering and solutions company founded in 1992 in Melbourne, has created the Corvo Precision Payload Delivery System for use in military, law enforcement and border security. Peaceful uses include emergency service, food security, asset inspection and search and rescue. Ukrainian forces reportedly used the PDDS cardboard drones on Sykov airfield in Kursk, Obask in Western Russia on August 27 this year. This base is 100 kilometers inside Russia's border and about 700 kilometers from Ukraine, well beyond the range of a Ukrainian launched drone. The attack damaged a MiG-29 and four Su-30 fighter jets, two Panzer anti-aircraft missile launchers, gun systems, and an S-300 air surface-to-air missile defense system. This is noteworthy because this drone, worth US $3,500, caused hundreds of millions of dollars worth of damage for the Russians. In a war of attrition, that counts. It was in March 2023 at the Avalon Air Show that Australia announced they would send at least 100 corvos a month to Ukraine as part of a $20 million aid package. The design principles behind the success of the drones revolve around several factors, including the production cost, airframe material, weight, payload, range, deployment, and ease of use. The drones are delivered as flat packs measuring just 510 millimeters by 760 millimeters, an idea IKEA customers would be familiar with. The Corvo drone has a high resolution camera that provides images covering a large area, transmitting footage back in real time. The importance of real time mapping is critical in modern agile armed forces command and control as this can direct ground forces, heavy weapons and artillery. Onboard software gives AI potential for this weapon. The cardboard drones can carry five kilos of weight, have a wingspan of two meters and a range of 120 kilometers. Waxed cardboard is an ideal material as it offers weather resistance, flat pack transportation and importantly a lightweight airframe which enables a longer flight range and gives a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Fixed wing drones also offer longer ranges than rotor based drones as the wings generate the lift and the airframe has less drag so they are more energy efficient. They can also fly at higher altitudes. These drones can be launched from a simple catapult or by hand and so can be rapidly deployed. Low tech material, high tech thinking. Other drones provided to Ukraine include the DJI, Dragonfly, Quantum Systems, Teal and Teledyne FLIR UAVs. The Corvo drone, waxed soaked paper construction is hard to detect by radar. Radar's electromagnetic waves will detect components such as the battery, though this will be a small signature. Russia will use GPS signal jammers, Starlink frequencies and known drone control frequencies to thwart this threat. Another design principle is the swarming capability of the drone. Swarms of drones can overpower air defense systems through sheer volume, and these drones can be used as decoys in counterintelligence operations. Swarms are highly reliant on the development of artificial intelligence, which is still an embryonic research area. It is likely that these low cost drones will have further mission success in the future. You might have seen drone swarms at night air shows. Amazing technology. SIPAC is a finalist in the Australian Aviation Awards across four categories. 
Aerial Service Business of the Year for Aerial Surveillance of Critical Infrastructure, Remotely Piloted Aircraft Business of the Year for the family of Corvo Uncrewed Autonomous Systems, including Corvo X, the candidate for Australian Army Project Land 129 Phase 4B, whatever that means. Thirdly, Innovation of the Year for the Corvo Precision Payload Delivery System Drone. Lastly, Remotely Piloted Aircraft Professional of the Year, Chief Remote Pilot and Head of Flight Operations, Luke Aspinall. Thank you for watching. To encourage new content, liking and subscribing would be appreciated. Comments always welcome.